So, what happens when the plan goes wrong? Hi, this is Pamela Sylvan, the Mojo Maker, back again to share another hot Mojo tip. So, what happens when the plan goes wrong? It doesn't go to specifications, it's not going, sorry, it's not going along exactly as you wrote it down, or as you envisioned it, or as it looks on your vision wall. What, what are you to do? Now, many are going to start to freak out and say it's a failure and it's not working and, you know, just at a total loss as to what to do, not knowing how to handle themselves. Basically, making that deep dive into that emotional place. And when you start getting emotional, you start to lose perspective. The ideas are um, shut off. You have nowhere to go except to act out and usually act out in a way that is not conducive to success, good health, um, good friendships or partnerships or relationships. So basically getting emotional is not about to help. So what do I mean? Uh, what are some examples of plans going bad? Well, for many, it's about um, not getting their maybe their ideas across to as many people as they would like. You know, we're all trying to do our marketing thing out there, especially on social media. And you may not, you may feel as if no one cares about what you're doing. No one's watching your videos. No one's reading your blogs. No one's signing up for your courses. Nobody is knocking on your door or pressing that buy button. What are you to do? You know, you get up every day and you show up and you do your thing. You write your um, articles. You, you're, you know, flourishly. Uh, participating in social media, posting those memes all over the place, and it appears as if nobody gives a damn. You're just there entertaining the masses and there's nothing happening. You know, and that feeling starts to come across you as yeah, you're wasting your time. What, maybe I should do something else. Um, maybe I should give this up. But you know, it's all about tipping points. We start to believe that if we don't have instant gratification on what we want, something has gone seriously wrong. The only thing that may not be in place at this point is how you're thinking about it, your attitude about what you're doing. So there's a little bit of mind re-mind setting that's needed when we come up to those blocks or obstacles in our thinking. Yes, there are some physical things that can go wrong. The bank says no, your partner rolled up the carpet and moved away or took the business idea. Somebody got ill, you got ill. There's so many different things that can happen um, that will make you feel that the plan has gone seriously wrong. But you know, we're not big picture thinkers. We can't see what's coming down, what the universe has in, in store for us. We just believe that we have lost control. The thing to do is to get seriously calm. I know that's hard. We're so reactive. We want to get emotive and, and yell and scream. And getting mad and getting angry is actually a healthy emotion, but keep it in perspective. It's not to get mad, stay mad, and go into a place of blame where a lot of people would like to go. It was their fault, his fault, her fault. She didn't let me, he didn't let me. No. Get calm within yourself. And it's not about letting people take advantage of you or walk all over you, but you have to be able to get some perspective and clarity on the situation so you can make your next move within that mess that's happened for you. And you can't do it properly if you're raging all over the place. So get seriously calm. Many great people and business people out there, especially coming from um, our past history, when they didn't even have all the things that we had. They didn't have technology and cell phones and websites and all the things that we play with every single day to help grow our business, yet they managed, and a lot of it was due to perseverance. They had, you know, the, the economy was going bad. Their, uh, their just wars were always breaking out, especially in Europe. There's just so many things. But people kept at it when everybody else was losing their mind. Are you the person constantly losing your mind or are you the person that's sitting there in calmness, watching chaos, and looking to see the opportunities? Because in every chaotic moment, there are opportunities, and only one or two people see it and then are able to take advantage while everybody else is outraging, pointing fingers, blaming, going into war, all kinds of things. So be calm, be cool, and find the nuggets that will benefit you. Even if it means a little bit of a time out for you um, to get some fresh perspective, do it. So that when the plan goes wrong, 
you don't go wrong. You get calm, get fresh perspective, and breathe. Breathe in and breathe out. And I, you know, I mean, that sounds so simple and, and inane, but you know what? People begin to hold in all of that nasty stuff and can't find the next step they need to take in front of them. Don't be one of those worrying people, all right? So, the next time something goes wrong, it could be in the next moment after you get off this video or tomorrow or next week or next month, it doesn't matter. Remember, you always have your power with you. Don't let it leak out the door because the plan leaked out the door. You always have the ability to choose and choose again and choose again. Choose rightly. Be a powerful mojo maker in that moment. So there you go. Once again, another hot mojo tip. My name is Pamela Sylvan and I invite you to subscribe to this YouTube channel because every day and every morning I'm going to be setting you up for um, a day of power, a day of inspiration, a day of motivation. All right. Have a wonderful day, everybody.